we're both at the dentist's office and we both hate dentists. So, this is not fun. I forgot the muscle milk I was gonna bring. I forgot the coffee I was gonna bring. I forgot the apple I was going to bring. We don't like dentists. I'm still here at the dentist. Eddie's in the back and I can hear the machine going and my anxiety is just going up. So I'm alive, I survived, and I'm just in the car trying to relax because that was really stressful. How'd you do, Eddie? <laughs> Eddie's more afraid of the dentist than I am. I thought I was going to pass out before we came here. <laughs> he didn't even want to get out of bed. I almost had to drag him down to the car. I thought I was going to throw <sighs> I'm just... I thought I was going to throw up. <laughs> but this dentist was actually pretty nice. He's this was a in... good dentist and he was very fast. He's been in town for at least 30 years. And... Uh... He was pretty easy going. I don't think anybody wants to hear about our dentist. He didn't climb on the chair while cleaning Nobody my Nobody wants teeth. to hear about that. Anyway. <laughs> it's now time to get a haircut. I'm hungry. So Eddie got a naked chalupa from Taco Bell. I have no idea what that is, but we're about to find out. It looks very processed. So, what is the, um, what is this, Eddie? I don't know. I've never had it before. I think it's just chicken and chicken and lettuce and tomato and cheese. So, it's like a taco, but this part right here, instead of a taco shell or a taco wrap, is made of chicken. Okay, it kind of looks good. I wondered why it was orange, but I guess it's like, uh... Breading? Seasoned breaded chicken. Mm. Enjoy. <laughs> Still trying to relax, but I'm getting there. I forgot all the food I was going to bring today um, for errands, so I did finally stop at Starbucks. I got a four shot Americano. I asked for a splash of skim milk for zero smart points and then I added about a half a tablespoon of half and half for zero smart points. So zero smart point coffee and then I also got a banana for zero. Okay guys we are back from doing errands back home and hmm, better right? So much better so much better. I love it. I've had an A-line bob for probably the last two or three years, so it's nothing new, but I was trying to grow my hair out, but I'm okay with this, so I just wanted to show you guys the hair. Haven't had anything else to eat. It's about, uh, it's about a little after three o'clock. I think we're doing an early dinner with Eddie's mom, so we are actually starting a new video series. Um, it's going to be posted at the same time as this video, so I hope you guys check it out. It's going to help you if you are going out to eat, specifically if you're eating burgers. So <laughs> you'll see the title and the name when I post it, but I'm super excited to start that new video series um, with Eddie as well, of course. And um, yeah, check it out tomorrow. It will show you what I'm having for dinner tonight. But I will also put what I'm having for dinner tonight in this video, of course, because this is a what I ate video. So I will check in with you guys later when we get to the restaurant or when I eat, I'll take a picture and show you what I'm having for dinner. So far I'm ha at um, zero points, uh, zero point coffee and zero point banana. So typical Saturday for me. I will check in with you guys later. I wanted to show you guys some of the things that Eddie picked up at a discount store yesterday in case you're interested. Um, it's a really awesome discount store. Like this, this loaf of bread, this entire loaf of bread was 50 cents. So 
anyway, just uh, someplace that he likes to go occasionally. So he got um, some of this smart food popcorn, this white cheddar. I was really excited to try this because I see a lot of Weight Watchers people eat it and they seem to like it. So it's good. It's white cheddar. It tastes, it doesn't taste diety at all. So that's good, but it just tastes like um, typical white cheddar popcorn, which if you're into that, that's perfect <laughs> i don't eat a lot of popcorn in general and uh, unless i'm at the movie theater <laughs> no i've done that for a while either anyway so these bags are this big um doesn't it's like how many ounces it's five eighths of an ounce <laughs> it's not a lot but it's it's not a bad little snack and these are three smart points per bag. So that's a good points bargain for a snack. He also found these. These are kale crunch. They are kale crisp kale chips. I've never had a kale chip like ever, so I didn't know what to expect, but I do really like kale. Now these are called quite cheesy. So they are kale chips covered in cheese. They're cheese flavor. I don't know yet what to think about them. I had these last night. I had them as a snack last night and they're not bad. They're crunchy and they taste like cheese. They're, I, I don't know. I don't love them, but I don't hate them. This is a two ounce bag and they are three smart points per ounce. So this whole bag is six smart points. So, I mean, if I'm gonna get crazy, crunchy, munchy, and snacky at night, this is probably a better option than a lot of things I snack on after too many glasses of wine. So, not bad, not in love with it, don't hate it. I would eat another bag. <laughs> he also, like I said, got this bag of bread here. This is, we love this kind of bread that is really has lots of grains in it and weedy and yummy so this is this is the perfect bread for him and I bet you anything he's gonna have peanut butter sandwich with it anyway so this is oats and nuts bread it's signature kitchens oats and nuts and it is three smart points per slice so I think that's about average for a hearty grainy bread like this three per slice he also found these pitas um, for 50 cents as well. These pitas are global pitas. Number one pita bread, baked fresh daily. So one pita is three smart points. So um, if you're gonna half it and then split it open and make a sandwich with it, then it's two smart points. So one half is two smart points and the whole thing is three smart points. And then he also picked up this bare naked granola, which I've had this granola before. It's really good, really good. It's honey almond. Um, like most granola, it's not very points friendly, but it's not terrible if you're gonna have just a little bit. So one tablespoon is only one smart point. So I could see maybe having a tablespoon on my yogurt. Um, it would add an extra smart point. Um, I could definitely have two tablespoons in my yogurt too. So um, the danger with me and granola is that I can absolutely see myself sitting down with an entire bowl full and some almond milk and that would be so delicious, but definitely high in points. So um, look, it has six grams of protein though. That's good. Anyway, just a little tiny mini grocery haul for you. Eddie's asleep and I'm getting hungry, so. I'm having my old favorite standby, which will be fine anyway so that I'm not starving by the time we get to the restaurant. So we just had burgers for dinner. I had a hamburger. I can't remember when was the last time I had a hamburger. I'm sure I've had a hamburger or two in the last couple of years, but it's been a very long time. That was a very good burger. I will insert a picture, um, but basically it ended up being 17 smart points. It was a basic burger, so the bun is four smart points, and the burger I estimate at eight smart points. Um, 
was a pretty big burger. I wonder if eight smart points is enough. Anyway, there was also a quarter cup of guacamole, so I counted three points for that. And there was a sandwich dressing on the bun as well, so I counted a point for that. I also had salad instead of fries and used a teaspoon of ranch dressing, so a point for that. I am counting 17 points right now, but I counted the burger at four ounces. I think I'm gonna up it to five, so whatever the tracker says for that, I will put the correct number of smart points on the pitcher. But it's gonna be at least probably 18 or 19 points total. It was great, it was delicious. So Eddie just said he thinks that the burger was probably only three ounces, so Sounds good to me. I'm going to leave my estimation at four ounces and count 17 points total for the meal. Alrighty guys, we are home again and I just cannot seem to get warm. It's so cold out today. Um, it's in the 50s, so for us that is cold. Anyway, I am going to have a few glasses of wine and work on my latch hook rug kit and call it a night. Does anybody else do latch hook rug kits? I used to do these when I was a kid and it sounded so fun that I decided to get one recently. It's actually been a couple months. It's taken me a while. It's pretty big, but let me show you what it looks like. This is my latch hook rug so far. I am not even halfway done with it, but isn't that cool? Like you literally, if you don't know what it is, you take like little tiny pieces of yarn little pieces of yarn and you pull them through each hole in the mesh and you follow a pattern and it makes this cool design I have no idea what I'm gonna do with it but it's been very fun and very relaxing so something fun to do at night while I watch TV so that's my latch hook rug isn't that cute so that's going to be the rest of my night a few glasses of these many many pieces of yarn and a good movie so i'm gonna upload these videos and i will touch base with you guys again tomorrow at some point today has been very uneventful and not much happening on the food front um maybe tomorrow will be more exciting so sorry i hope you guys watch my new video series also and i'm going to put that one up with this one i look like a floating head floating head. Anyway, have a great night. Happy Saturday, everyone.